the Fresh Dope Podcast, baby. We on. What up, what up? It is a very special edition of the Fresh Dope Podcast. I don't think we've ever had a guest on these videos before. First guest of all time. With all three of us. Facts. This is big time. So, yes, uh, all the way from Houston, Texas, now living in Vegas, artist, singer, songwriter, dancer, performer, uh, all of it. Uh, Slick, what's going on, brother? Hey, what's going on, everybody? How y'all doing out there? They don't know because (laughs) they are not here. (laughs) Yo, first of all, thank you for your time. We appreciate you for joining us. Um, So we're going to talk about Slick, obviously, but we're also going to address the Drake and Pusha T uh, conflict that is currently going on. Um, We know that you're a big Drake fan, so this is perfect uh, for you. He's the GOAT. The GOAT, and by GOAT, you mean greatest of all time? I mean... In, like, what area? Uh, artistry. Oh. I think he's one of the greats. He's not, like, the greatest. Okay, I'm okay. Gonna, I'm going to put, like, you know, Michael and Bill Williams and stuff like okay, that. Okay, okay. Absolutely. Drake is the one of the greatest of all time. Just Is he in your top five MCs? To me, yeah. Of all time? Yep. And, and I know people are going to say, oh, man, but somebody <laughs> helped him write this song. Hey... They don't help write every single I song get about it, this, man. But like, you, you're just like an asterisk by your name. But isn't there like if you had a ghostwriter? Because rapping like, is your like, thing. It's like if you if you took steroids once, you still you cheated. Took, you took steroids. You know, how, how do I know what did how you many do? times yeah. it really did? How many times did you hit that home run and it was you on okay. that steroids? <laughs> how many times did you hit that part, that that track and it was fire and it was all you? Facts. Okay. Now we're talking about somebody supposedly helped them on. Uh, if you're reading this, it's too late. Right. What about the music before that when he was rapping? We don't, and, and, and don't get me wrong. He's, we know Drake's a great MC. We know a great artist. Um, but we don't, we don't know what's valid and what's not That's true. at that point. That's true. But we could talk That's about true. this all day. I think we talk about it every time that we see yeah, each other. Yeah, 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 um, so yeah. before we get carried away, uh, we we gotta address. So where it started, and I actually wasn't hip to the beginning. Mm-hmm. 2002, it apparently started with the uh, with the what happened to that boy record, Sheesh. and uh, apparently. Um, Pharrell and Nia uh, and um, his boss, or his guy Chad Hugo, were not properly yeah. compensated for the production of that song, yeah. and so that's where it started. Um, and then you mentioned uh, the 2006, how it uh, or earlier off camera you mentioned that it was that's that's where you got like the uh, the Wayne and the, the vape yeah, on yeah, the yeah. magazine, right? Yeah. Um, and that was for that was uh, the clips like style and vape and all of them and yeah. the million as boys clubs and yes. all that stuff like that. So it's kind of like you we didn't get paid. Mm-mm. And then you want to take our style. You take our style. <laughs> yeah. And then Pusha T said Wayne started rapping like me. Like he started talking about drugs and started talking about. I feel like Wayne was always talking about that. I do too. But yeah. you know, you know. How do you differentiate? It's like drugs is so prevalent in like yeah, hip hop. Yeah, like yeah, how do you yeah, differentiate yeah. when who you're talking about drugs and not talking about drugs? That's, that's true. That's true. Yeah. That's true. I mean, very I just, true. But it carried on from there for some years. It kind of like fizzled out, whatever it is. Yeah. Um, nah, I don't think it ever fizzled out. Yeah, I don't think it, but it was never like this. This now it's on like full spotlight, full bloom. Yeah. If you weren't in like the hip hop community at that point, you may have not heard about it. Oh yeah. But like nowadays, it's out to everybody. Yeah. Um, I didn't even hear about it. You know, yeah. And he was in hip hop. Oh, um, like good music. And you got yeah. Mr. Me Too. They came back at then. That's what they were calling yep. the clones of him. Uh, but now we're here in 2018, and we have. Another member of that Cash Money Young Money squad, Drake, yeah. and he's now beef- beefing with Pusha T. Oh boy, I got drug into it, man. And you're a Drake fan. Yeah. Uh, Pusha T releases Infrared off his album on Friday. Yeah. Coming to Drake. Um, Drake responds to the W Freestyle yeah. over the weekend. Drake. Coming back. Typical Drake for oh, Drake. Yeah. Get hard. Facts. Which, no. is, which I get. Like, Drake, he baited you in, bro. Facts. He baited you in. He put out Infrared with two lines about you. If a guy that ain't put music out in a year or so randomly comes out of nowhere with two lines, he was waiting on you to go. Oh, let me, let me end his career. So you think you think that like he needs he like he should have waited for like the whole track, like a whole the whole diss track to come out before he answers. Yeah, yeah I would. I would. I would, I would have said that. You know what? Because people are always every few months saying, "Oh, that person's throwing shots at Drake." Right. And it's up to Drake to go. I'm jumping in. or I'm not. So Is this he, person worth my time? Yeah, he should have like, just been like, you know what? But I think he played it at a way like a cocky way. Like I'm yeah. on top. Yeah. You can't. Meek Mill was definitely worth his time. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I think <laughs> because, I think because of, obviously he kind of got me got the way a bit. Right. I think with this situation, he's like I can get anybody out the I'm way. I'm good to go. I'm good to go. You got to But you can't. If you underestimate Pusha T, you're just an idiot though. Like, but I don't think he underestimated him in rap. I think Drake wins, of course. I think he's great. Yes, Pers- man. Yeah, facts. Uh, what is it called? The perception. Uh, yeah. Personal perception. Yeah, yeah, like like w- once you get that, once everybody already sees you at this level, can't nobody take you down. So it doesn't matter 
like what happens, Drake always looking at it like, oh, I still got people gonna say I'm great. Facts. So it's gonna overshadow whatever goes on. So whatever mm -hmm. jab you throw, I can dubby freestyle you. See, Drake should have dubby freestyled. But, but see, after I, the W freestyle, I am a right hook, and I yeah, I think the, I think I think the W freestyle was I, I get he, I definitely agree he got baited. However, I think yeah. the W freestyle was cool. Like I thought it was still strong. It was strong. Um, it was but strong. you're messing with a different beast on this one. I didn't, I didn't expect like, that. Was what I said is like that was just normal temperament to me. I was like from the from the Meek Mill freestyle, I was like, oh, that's about yeah, equal pace. Facts. I was like, yeah, it's like it's dope. He he, he made his shots. It was, smooth. was like it was smooth. Yeah. He had some good punches in it. I didn't think that was that video of that girl running. She just hits him with the shovel like yeah, that. Yeah. that where did Pusha T get the shovel, dog? Yo, like I think, I think, I think Drake, he's so calculated, so I don't know why he didn't go. You know what? This feels like a bait. I'm not going to fall for it. Or if he goes, I'm going to fall for it, but I, I'm going to have two songs ready. I'm going to have a W freestyle, already. and when he lets, lets loose on one, I'm going to have one right there. Back to back, and then it's gonna be the song that plays for the summer. Yes, and you gotta sing it. That's the only way. That's the only way is, cause, is to get like the popular vote. Yeah, part. it doesn't he matter can, what the bars are. He can come back. He can if come he, back if he comes back with a hot track. Oh, and in man. there, he says "fuck Pusha T." But yeah, it, it's kind of scary because you, you're going with the guy like Pusha T that's saying, he drags hey, your ass." I, 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 I got you, but guess what? I got more in the stash. I'm ready to go. Even the even, 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 that, even yeah. that whole thing was multifaceted. Not only did he kill you on the track, but then he put that blackface on there. Oh, yeah, really made people. So he had to come back and answer about the blackface picture before right. anything else. Yeah, right, so let's talk about that. So in, in Pusha T's, uh, great say, uh, from Pusha T's original, um, or from Drake's original, he mentioned Pusha T's fiance, Virginia Woolf, right. for the ring. I'm like, oh, okay. Um, but that wasn't that bad of a punchline. If you, if you, no, it wasn't. But if somebody but like, mentioned my grandpa, they yeah, go, yeah, I'm you probably going to go. It's going to strike a nerve. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so no, then Pusha no T way. came back with the, the alleged son, um, yeah. the, the whole that whole issue uh, with what we uh, you know your best friends dying. There's nothing. Hey, you can do. I'm not lying. Yeah, that, like, that was too far for me. Okay, I know people kind of go, oh, it's beef, whatever. But when you are talking about somebody that actually has a real, are there are there, are there like, limits in, in hip hop though? I don't feel like I, I don't feel know. like everything's like it's, it's shit. Well, all yeah, limits. Also, you gotta understand not as a limits. person, take yourself outside of hip hop. As a person, you should have morals. I get that. You know what I mean, but you maybe should, you, but not everybody. And you, and you can't tolerate disrespect either. That's like. true. But then some guy saying I'm a I'm a let it ring like Virginia Williams. That's cool. It wasn't like hey, and uh, this is this is my personal opinion. I'm I think maybe Drake and pushes girl mad. I had a situation before, so him saying his What's name, it? okay, it's probably like oh oh yeah, you want to go there. So now it's off limits. Because us, we're just like, he just said her name. It wasn't that big of a deal. Yeah. What if he, hey. We're not going to put that out there. We're not going to put that I see what you're doing here. No. <laughs> but I'm saying, it could be true. It could be true. What if he had a situation with this man's wife before? Right, but if you're just right. private in general, like, I would take that as offense. Like, if he, if he really wasn't putting it out there. Yeah, facts. E either way, even if, if if you did, definitely disrespectful. You if you didn't, person, I'm yeah. still, I still Man. disrespect. Don't call her name. Like I said, though, he came with the shovel. Like it wasn't, it facts. wasn't like a fair hit back. Like no. nothing no. happened. He like you, he got punched in the face. Yes. And see, he went to the trunk. Like that's facts. what happened. And yes. see, see, Drake's stuck in a, in a spot where he's like, if I say something, this dude can let off. Yeah. Or he could just be lying and don't really have anything in, else in the holster. Right. He's just trying to pump fake. Well, the, the, the facts agreed, but then you see like the artwork for, uh, is it story of Ad, Ad, Adidon? Or it's uh, Aiden. Aiden. Aiden, the, right. Well, it's like A-D-I-D-O-N. Like it's, I think it's from like Adidas, but then his son is like Adonis or something like that. I don't yeah, know. That's true. Um, that's a crazy, that's crazy story. But like he, he was so calculated, Push was so calculated that he got the image of Drake in blackface. Yeah. Really had it like there. So like, um, I thought he did. he was definitely ready. He was definitely ready. He, he he did that, and I also think he messed up Drake's whole because they said he's supposed to announce the kid through Adidas press run. That's right. That's right. That's right. And, yes. And I was like, to me, I was like, Drake, my favorite artist. I was like, that's a little weird. Why yeah, you gotta announce I don't your kid put him through a press run? Yeah, like because it's gonna make it seem like because he gonna come out fitted with the stripes. And, and they're, they're probably getting, gonna, be, probably get they're gonna sod him. him. They're gonna they sod him, bro. They're gonna sod him. They're gonna I'm, contracts. I'm, always. I'm, 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 yeah. which, which is cool. And like. then now, but then you also gotta think, Drake, you throwing shots at Kanye, right? Yeah, he ain't throwing shots at Pussy. He came back. And these dudes are over at Adidas already, right? So they know your business all. They're already. They're already hit. They're us. So you should have known, man. Unless so it's many. all calculated from both sides, and they're just gonna make money off all of this, and that's why they're doing it, which is also a possibility. Is this even real rules. life? Are we? Are Yo, facts. Like, you, know, hey, you know what? I we, we, I think we put so much time into this. I think it could be a situation like you said. It could just be all like they sitting behind the scenes laughing at us, like oh they buying it. Oh, it wouldn't be the first time. Kind of like fifty. Yeah, it wouldn't be the first time. 
Because didn't 50 and Kanye do that? That's what he was telling me earlier, too. I forgot about that. I remember mm -hmm. them being on 106 in Park, sizing each other yeah. up. But it was all like, yeah. It was, no real it was all for the money. Like, yeah. It was smart. Oh. But but it's like, but with this, it's a little different because... It's, the person you got really personal real quick. integrity situation. Like, you have somebody that you're saying blackface and you got somebody with a... See, the alleged baby thing, people get over that next week. Because right. Because everybody got kids. Alleg and what I don't understand about the situation, everybody making a big deal over, oh my God. Uh, Drake has a uh, baby, right? Right. It's so many rappers that are married that y'all don't know they're married because Facts. they want to seem like they're single. So if every and rapper they just, gets, and they may not just want to put their their yeah, people on the spotlight. And, 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 and if you get exposed, then you just like, oh man, I didn't know you. Was, so you can't really. I think people take too much time into diving. People, take, else people take too much time in general. That's why that's that's why we all up into these random people business left facts. It really, don't even know really, what's going on. Really, no. it really all he does is make great music. So yeah. why why does it just matter? What does it matter if he has so let me, so, so, let me so so just talking about but this. It's still bad. But it's still <laughs> fun. <laughs> it's still fun. I'm in it. I'm I, I'm in it. So it's getting disrespectful, and that made me think of like okay, like the, what, what's like my favorite top like five rap beefs of all time. Okay. Five was a little bit. It wasn't difficult to come up with, but like like to really love them. Like so, I I, I got four. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm gonna give you my four real quick. This this is in order too. So number one, Nas and Jay Z. Number two, Fifty and Ja. Number three, Fifty and Game. <laughs> and number four, Karis One, Boogie Night Productions versus Roxanne Shante and the Juice Crew. Um, that I mean, was you went all the way back. Yeah, there were some that were legendary. And you know what? Number five, I'll go LL uh, in and cannabis. cannabis. Yeah. So like, oh, there's my fifth right there. Actually, that, that beat was a quick. It was, it was, but it was yeah, cool. Got like, out of here, man. It was smooth though, like <laughs> yeah, I love got him up out of here. That was funny. So I wanna, if you guys got some, I want to hear y'all list. All right, so uh, I'm not really, I wasn't really like a like I'm. He introduced me to hip hop, so it's like I really don't have the historic okay. beefs of it, and I really didn't follow. But I do have some. Uh, All right. My first one was uh, Nas and Jay Z. That's the first thing that got me hip to hip hop. I mean, he gave me a stack of both CDs and yeah. highlighted each one that was a diss, and we went through the history. That shit was dope. Uh, and then. I liked, uh, I really, really did like Kanye 50 Cent because I, I like, because I like it was for the money. Like I said, fuck, like it, it, people are going to eat this shit up yes. and they played everybody for stupid. For stupid. Who, who going to retire? Yeah. They both made music and yeah. we both got two and great albums. Gonna retire, yeah, yeah, and the albums, were, and the, and the yeah. albums were great. I think that they, they were yeah. both great that year. So Facts. I can't be mad at that. And then the next one is 50 Cent versus anybody because anytime I read these <laughs> I breakdowns, up, anytime up. I read these breakdowns, they're the funniest things. He's yeah. so savage. 50 is like smooth. Even on man. Instagram, like, it's so yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. Even like this, since he came out, it's going to anybody and everybody just because. Like, yeah, 50, 50, 50. You know what's crazy to me is that him and Jim Jones hang out, and I feel like they low key oh, like, man. like they, they butt heads. They, they butt heads, but they seem cool. Yeah, it's like, hey man, if you don't do nothing, I ain't gonna do nothing. Yeah, you know what like, I mean? Like, they realize I, they kind of wanted the same. Yeah. Like, let me see. Big, big ass brolic dudes, man. Let me see. It's a top five. Uh, I had 50 in Ja, I had 50 in the game. Okay, yeah. I had, uh, uh, Lil Wayne. I mean, not Lil Wayne, Lil Flip and T.I. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah, they were, and Luna and T.I. Yeah, so, oh, yeah. so it's kind of like. That was really, like, that really was, yeah, that yeah, was yeah. real. I'm headed to Houston beef. You know how, what I mean? how was it? Like, what, oh, like it, was, it was real. Like, it went from music to. T.I.'s in this man's neighborhood. Damn. You know what I mean? Like, so, it, it's like, but it's still Ace Tiny Kill. Hey. So, uh, <laughs> how do, let me see, I got it. I forgot Flip, I have the 50. I, I go Jay-Z and Nas. I go Jay-Z and Nas. Even though, to me, it wasn't that hard. It was cool for the moment. Like we're gonna look back yeah, on yeah, we're gonna look yeah. back on, on this beef with pushing them and go and take over. That shit like hurt my oh. soul. Like, yeah, like it just oh Jason, Jason. I tripped out. I tripped out. I tripped out. I tripped out. Okay, alright. Pac and Biggie. See, you know, I See, the only yeah. only reason I wouldn't say I that I forgot about it's because it, it, for it, me it, yeah, it wasn't like I can't ever say it's like a like a top rap, a favorite, like because they both like they both passed. So like that, I wish you wouldn't have had that. No, 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 I get that, but the it, records were were amazing, obviously. It, it also I just you, lo you lose too much. Like I couldn't call it a favorite because I didn't. At the end, I didn't enjoy. It. Like I lost, we lost those people. Yeah, that was that crazy. Is. That was crazy, and it, and it was. But there was history made, like in the music, though. And too. the crazy so, like, part about that is saying. everybody does interviews say they actually like each other. Facts. And that whole situation spun out of control because of the media. Me media facts. Media will spin it and, and make you look crazy with somebody that you like. Wait, he don't like me? Right. And he like, I thought we was 
And you, you never talk to persons. You just have you just you just start something in your head. You like, had you had, had you beefing with somebody you know, facts. somebody that you're cool with. So, man, that's that's that's. You ever have any beef? You already keep it. You keep it Switzerland. You keep it neutral. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I don't have. I, I can't. I don't have no beef, man. Just, like I just, first I'm of all, trying, I, I'm I, I can't. Want to be a first world, I can't right? have beef because. All right, country music. I write R and B music. Facts. I write pop music. And he loves Taylor Swift. And I love. You feel me? So it's like. But when it comes to these bars, he gets busy. I get busy. I, you know, I underestimated you for like when you like you told me that because I because I'd only known you from like your like make it right like yeah. those, those songs. Um, I'm like, man, I, I wonder if he, I wonder if he got, it. I don't know. And then you just spun, you just spun out of control. I'm like, oh man, like, like, bro, when it comes to this, I'm, I'm not gonna be for no man. I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes I'd be like, man, if I was in this situation, you got bars. Them, man, I'd be say, ready like for that. Like. Like I just keep stuff in my head just in case. And I remember one day I had wrote in a song, I was like, I hope my favorite artist never becomes one of my targets. I like because that. I'll be a marksman aiming Facts. at him through a studio audience. Facts. You know what I mean? Like I'm always I don't want my favorite artist to ever come at me because I know I can rap. You see what I'm saying? And I write. And you everything. gonna come at it? You gonna yeah, right back Man, at it? Man, don't please. Hey, anybody? I don't want to be for anybody. You know what I'm saying? Probably I'm shit. not that guy. You know what I <laughs> mean? Like I'm not. I'm not the guy. You feel me? I, I be chilling. I'm Merchwood, and and I just be chilling. And but if you ever say something about me and rap. I can rap and I'll, I'll rap you Facts. and all your friends. Yo, so, so some other notable beefs, uh, Meek Mill versus Drake, obviously, as of recent. Uh, yeah. We just spoke on the Pusha T versus Drake. That was cool because we got some records and it was from like two top artists. It, it was cool. It was like It wasn't really a beef, yeah. It yeah, was, it was like, like It was like Facts. Like, like, you know, G, yeah, was cool. uh, and Jeezy, I like that. Jeezy and Gucci. Oh, obviously. I forgot about the Jeezy but and But the Gucci. only reason I went, I stayed because I know that Gucci like had that a body. That was real. Like, yeah, yeah, that was like real as well. That was, yeah, that was a real beef. Facts. Um, See, so these beefs are just all these beefs we're talking about. Just it's cool. Beefs. I mean, Fifty got into it with John. Oh and yeah, that's and, the, like, that situation stuff. is real. That's the situation is real. Um, but yeah, we're um, so. Anyways, though, uh, before we get out of here, we want to know uh, what you got going on. What's uh, what's Slick got in the mix? Uh, sh I'm writing a bunch of people music right now. I'm also writing for myself. Uh, I have an EP that's coming out probably in July, or August. I'm just taking my time with it. Okay, it's yeah. the first EP that I'm producing. Everyone of my own tracks right like i'm making the beats from scratch i'm engineering it i'm doing okay. everything from the house by myself that's hard uh you actually you actually shoot you actually like shooting any of your own videos too yeah trying to too, direct right? my own stuff like now i'm at the point where i'm just like hey man you can't say i need help you get a camera you, you can figure you figure something out yourself you know what i mean like you facts. don't need nobody to hey man you want to do this hey camera, man computer software you good if you sit at home and wait on somebody man you'll be waiting Forever. You're never yeah. gonna get it. Cause guys. ain't nobody gonna just be like, you know what? I wonder if he's sitting at the house waiting on me to call. Let me. Nope. Nah, you gotta be like, I'm doing this. So when they look and see, they be like, oh, he moving. Let me call him and tell him, hey, we got some, we got some shaking out here too. Facts. So, yeah, that's that's what I'm getting into, man. That's, Definitely. That's, that's that's. Do you have, you have a favorite area like writing, dancing, singing, rapping? Is it like a favorite fashion? Like writing. Okay. Writing is probably it, cause it's the easiest thing to do. Right. Facts. You can write about anything. It's something that happened all day. Like, so, so for some people it's tough though too. Like, and I get how you don't see this stuff because I'm yeah. the same way. But like, yeah, there's people yeah. that are like, oh, I don't even know what to write. I don't even know where to start. Now you just start with whatever you're going through. Facts. I feel like the best thing to do is just, however you feel, let that out because, I mean, it don't matter if you mad at your girl, your mom, your whatever, you annoyed at this. Just jot a jot something down and then let it out. Man, music is nothing but just whatever you thinking and just find something around with it. Facts. I'm you know what I mean? So you ain't got it's not that complex that you have to put in there. Writing is writing is cool, dancing is always cool, directing is cool, producing is cool, and rapping is just something that that's my vent. Right. That's my vent. Cause when you when I'm writing songs like whether it's pop or whatever, it's kinda like you, you stand a certain way, you go you say certain things that might be, you know, but rap that's just direct. That's right. like yeah. favorite, favorite dancer of all time. Like Chris, Mike, James Brown, like. Oh man. Uh, I asked. I asked the culture shock this a few weeks ago. I, you know, I didn't know he was gonna do this. Song. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Jeez. But, and, but but you're also a dancer, so I wanted this as one of them. It's, I wanted to ask you as ooh, well, man. Cause two of them said Mike, one of them said Chris. Chris is amazing. But if you go Mike, but then what about what about James? And then but then 
I'm gonna go Mike. I, I just right. have to go Mike. I got if there was no Mike, there would be no Chris. There would be no yeah. Usher. But if there wasn't no James Brown, there would be no Mike. I know. Facts. Yeah, it's tough. So it's kind of like, but I think with. Mike did was take what James Brown did and just elevated it to another level. And then Chris is doing that now, I feel like. Chris is doing that now, and Mike couldn't do backflips and Facts. stuff like that. So it was just kind of like Mike had his moves. Yes. He could do and He could do them perfectly. He could execute those moves. But Chris is, he just, man, you know I always say, he don't get enough credit. Like, I agree. And I, I agree. understand the whole situation that happened. We get it. Facts. And I am, I, <laughs> like, and I'm just saying, like, I'm understanding of it, and, and, I, and I get that, but I think... Peep, look, man, R. Kelly's still out here thriving. Dog, and, and see, we we we, we going, yeah. You see what I'm saying? R. Kelly's out here thriving, and then people are looking at Chris Brown like this, and I'm like, I get it, but he apologized, and like, he right. was punished for what he did already. Yeah, he you served know? his life. But yeah. they won't let him do it. I don't see him on awards. Every time I watch an award show, I go, why Chris Brown didn't perform? Because yeah. award shows get to the point now where they're so boring to watch. The viewership is just going down. Facts. Like when the Billboard Awards came on like a week or two ago, I watched probably five minutes of it. And I was like, "This is not. I, it's it's no performance. It's not entertaining. You want to see Chris Brown come out there dance? I want to see the biggest stars. I like, want to see. You see yeah, what I'm saying? Like the biggest. I want to see Beyonce come out there. Yeah, like I, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Because Beyonce put on a show too that you should be like, "Oh man, this." Facts. Like, but when you get, get you got these, yeah, that's Ace Time. So when you get these artists up there, that's just kind of like singing and everything's just kind of depressing you just like man ha half these artists can't even sing i like yeah. not live you, yeah, you they, said, they yeah, can't facts. sing they are everything is studio so and me i ain't gonna lie to you <laughs> i can't sing either <laughs> but you can sing you can do you do what you yeah, I, can, I can do my thing but i'm saying me i would pick and choose what i do facts. i think when i when i perform i pick and choose what i do you know what i mean if i know I'm not that great of a singer. I'm not getting up there in front of all these people and then millions of people watching. That reads. And sing a song that everybody loves, but they're like, that's how you sound live? And <laughs> yeah, then now people start looking at you differently. Like, like, is your music real? Are you really a singer? Can you really sing? That, like, and they go, I'll just jam your music. I'm not coming to your concert. Yeah. Facts, yeah, your black performance isn't that good. Yeah. And I want people to be like, nah, I'm going to your concert. Facts. You know what I mean? And I'm buying your music yeah. at the same time. And Chris Brown, I would go to a Chris Brown concert, yeah. you know what I mean? And I just think the war shows need to figure out how to get back in the, the mix. I mean, yeah. It probably cost too much, though. Remember like, when Michael was performing at the Grammys or Michael performed here? Right, it was but, working. But now, or Diana Ross or this person, and then but or Bobby Brown. But now you get to the point where you get these celebrities that just kind of got like a... The artists get bigger than the actual like, Man. like, and it's crazy. Like, and I and I agree that that's true. So, like, is it money to get them to perform? Probably, Beyonce and Beyonce you want to make, yeah. Yeah, and you want to make yourself exclusive too. You don't yeah. want to like that's why artists do like every interview. So you're on national like, TV performing, like that's yeah. your live performance on national TV. That's Facts. Like, now everybody gets to see it for free ninety nine if they were at a bar. With that's you. true. After you just work, you know. So I mean, don't, be, don't do you have to do things for free for like for sure? But like I think when you get to a level, oh, you don't have to. I, I think you still, but like you got to do it like once. Like, once a, they do it like once. A, it's usually when they're they about give, to drop an album. Yeah, Drake ain't Drake ain't did no interview, and I don't know when. Yeah, like. You gotta make your, you gotta keep yourself. But up. I think, I think certain people like the weekend. We can don't even do interviews. And, and he's popping. And he's popping. Like so, yeah. you really don't have to be out there. I think, and I don't think there's no such thing as you don't have the album rollout anymore. Right. Like you don't. Sia have doesn't to, even show her face. Like who? Sia. Oh yeah, the girl like, with the hair. Yeah. 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 Like, see, so. that's that's see that's I don't know. Yeah, that's just so weird. Cause I, I'm used to. I'm pretty sure used to too. Growing up when. You had a rollout. You was going to One Six Apart. You was going to Rap City. Now. Media you runs was going are different. To all these places because of the internet. You don't have yeah. to do media runs. That's crazy. Now you can Facts. just be like, album coming. Da 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 da. Everybody gonna see it. Everybody seen Go it. Viral. All the blogs are posting it. Oh, the album coming out, and then boom, you put your album out. You do sales. You do your numbers, and then you go hide away. Facts. Until your next album comes out. Facts. You know what I mean? Like. Nope. You're right. It. it but me, it's like. I have a battle with 20. Do I want my artists, my favorite artists, to be a mystery, or do I want them to let me know everything they're doing? You yeah, know I think you want to. You said like a balance. I was, yeah, I don't want to know. I don't need to know everything. I wouldn't want if I was a Drake fan. I wouldn't want to know this stuff right now. But then again, you also want to hold your artists. It's not that I don't want to know. I just don't care. I don't care nobody got a kid. Yeah, that's facts. between you and your kid. That's and your their kid's personal mom. life. Yeah, yeah that had nothing to do with me. Like, yeah. I think it's people that just like. I think Drake has. They just want them to take them down. 
they don't want him to be that anymore. Well, that's because well, that's that's he's an asshole. And, and you know what it is? <laughs> he, I don't think, I don't know. But, he's, dude, he's trying to touch everybody, lady, like, he, like there's, that, 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 he's an that's asshole. That's true, but I think people also get tired. This is the, this, I'm sorry to say it, people get tired of seeing you win. It gets to oh. a point where you win so much, people are just like, nah. Yeah, but you can still turn that into a victory for people. Yeah, people are going to be haters. He's had haters for years. Yeah, you, and you got to think about it. Like, I heard, I see people write all day long talking about, man, I'm tired of seeing Golden State win. Why? If they're the best team and they get Well, to, because I'm a Cavs fan and a Knicks fan. I don't want to I don't want to see Golden State win. I get I it. I want to see my teams win. I get more well, your <laughs> yeah. team need to be better. Yeah, facts. You see what I'm saying? Because all Golden State proves is, hey, man. No, like, I don't have any. Yeah, I mean, no, I, 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 it's nothing like. I like seeing Steph win. I like but your team is. The, are, you, are you a Rockets fan? You, I don't really have a basketball team. But you're from Houston. You I'm a Steph fan. fan. Yeah, I'm a Rockets fan, but I ain't allowed to rooting for Steph. Okay, I'm I was rooting for Steph, and and uh, if Iggy would have played, we would have probably won by game five. But he didn't play, and it got spooky, and then CP3 got hurt, and then Gosh. everything started looking good all of a sudden because right. if CP3 would have played in six and seven. Man, we could probably get a shit this way to the finals. Facts. Yeah, cause so, uh, that that got that got spooky out there, man. Huh? Facts. Got, no, no, you know, you're definitely right. You're definitely right. So before we get up out of here, man, where can they follow you at? Uh, Instagram. Oh, I changed my name, bro. You did. I saw it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It was, you know, it's slick. Everybody still calls me slick. I've been slick since I was a kid. Facts. But uh, but now it's just Derek Dominique. I had to brand, rebrand. Uh, I had a few. I mean, the alliteration is smooth, and it's your name, so yeah, like, it's cool. Yeah, like, and I had, it was like, you got to do some searching of yourself by yourself, like, okay, your friends can still call you this. Right. But, you know, and then I had a few label know. people coming to me like, hey, I know your name is Slick, and it's spelled 5 L I C K, and I know you're saying you've been doing this since 2010, but right. there's a blackout right now, Facts. and his name is spelled like this, and your name going to look like it's copying his Where's well, name. Where's your name? And, and, and it gives you a sense of, like, like you, you, they don't know. They don't know what to expect. Yeah, They're, yeah. And we're back. Yes, we are. Um. So, hey, yo, and check what's the magazine right here. This is a uh, oh, Deluxe Version magazine. And my little fine ass girl on the front of it. Uh, boom, talk that. It's actually, love you, feel me? She got a nice little spread up in here. That's dope. Um, Danny Rees, my little fine. Oh, there she go again. You gonna check that out for sure. There she go again. Right there, right yeah, there. She show, go show again. Show some camera. I drink. Oh yeah, speaking of I drink. That's the owner right there, Boom. Mariah. She's amazing. She sends us cases of water. Boom. All dope. the time. Dope. Super and it's dope. Like Nano nutrient water. It's a. Uh, it's amazing. Got David Beckham in here. Vivica Fox. The dope. Property Brothers. So yeah. If you don't have that, go get that. Facts. Wee. Shout out to your family. Congratulations on life and everything. Oh yeah, you know man. What I'm, I'm out here, my baby. Shout out to my my kids, Brayden. He's eight years old. I love you. And Lynn and Emerson Montgomery. She is about to be five months. Ooh. She is time is moving fast. Living. Congratulations. Man. Big life, big life. My name is AD. That's Smooth Milk. You can follow us at F Dope Podcast on Twitter, Fresh Dope Podcast on IG. Same as Facebook, FreshDopePodcast.com. We are on YouTube, which is where you might be watching this. Uh, and big shout out to uh, the Vegas brand, um, Live Victorious, for the, for the fit, the tea and the hat. Yeah. Salute. And that's what it is. Fresh Dope, baby. Yay! It's the Fresh Dope Podcast, man. We out.